Dear friends, welcome to today's prayer session here on the Jesus Daily Prayers channel. My name is Michael, and I'm so glad you could join me today. The focus of our time together is seeking God through a prayer for new beginnings. There are seasons in life when we feel led to start fresh, to turn a new page, and seek God's renewal. We may be coming through a difficult season or feel a nudge from the Holy Spirit that it's time for something new. Whatever the case, we know that our God is able to make all things new according to His purpose. So today, let's bring our desires for a fresh start before the Lord. Let's open our hearts to His leading and trust that He knows exactly what we need. Our part is to be yielded vessels, surrendered to God's perfect plan. As we release the past and make room for the new, we can move forward with hope, confidence, and joy. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to listen to this prayer for the next seven days. Why seven days? Throughout Scripture, we see the number seven symbolizing completion and new beginnings. In Genesis, God rested on the seventh day after His work of creation was complete. Every seventh year was a sabbatical year for the land, and every fiftieth year after seven cycles of seven years was the year of Jubilee, a year of renewal, restoration, and new beginnings. So I believe there is power in praying this prayer for seven days. Please comment below with any breakthroughs, fresh vision, or progress you experience after the seven days. This will encourage others to persist in prayer as well. God moves in His perfect timing, and a seven-day prayer focus allows time and space for His purposes to unfold. Now let's begin our time of prayer. Gracious Father, we come before you today with open and expectant hearts. We acknowledge that you are able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. So we bring our desires for a fresh start and new beginning to you now, trusting that you have plans for our good, plans to prosper us and give us hope. Lord, we release the past, the disappointments, failures, and hurts into your capable hands. We make room for the new work you want to do in our lives. Like a clean canvas, we pray you would paint a fresh vision over our lives. Minister to us in the areas where we need renewal and realignment with your perfect will. Revive our spirits, Lord. Rekindle our passion for serving you. Resurrect any dormant dreams or gifts within us. Remove any obstacles standing in the way of our fruitfulness. Lord, we long to walk in step with your spirit into this new season. Still our anxious thoughts as we fix our eyes on you, the author and perfecter of our faith. We invite you, Holy Spirit, to lead us each step of the way. Empower us to let go of what lies behind and to press on toward what you have prepared for us. Surround us with your peace and direction so that we can follow you wholeheartedly. Remove all fear and give us boldness to step out in faith. I'd like to read Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19, a passage that perfectly captures our prayer for new beginnings today. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Lord, we do not want to miss the new thing you are doing in our lives. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear where you are leading. We know that with you nothing is impossible. You make streams flow in the driest deserts. You create life and beauty from barren ground. Thank you for surrounding us with your favor like a shield. Uphold and refresh us by your living waters. We commit to following you wherever you lead, even if it feels unfamiliar. Remind us of your promise in Isaiah 42, verse 9. See, the former things have taken place and new things I declare. Before they spring into being, I announce them to you. Lord, all things are possible with you. Though we may feel weak, you perfect your strength through our yieldedness. Use us as instruments of your peace, mercy, and redemption in this world. As we step into new beginnings, fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit. Empower us to bear fruit that will last. Hone our gifts to bless others and glorify you. Keep us ever mindful that apart from you, we can do nothing. But in you, we are more than conquerors. Thank you for this time of prayer and reflection today. Speak to each of our hearts in the coming days about your personalized call on our lives. Nudge us if we start to pull back out of fear. Give us courage to boldly follow your lead. We receive your blessings over our lives, our families, and all that concerns us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. My friends, as we stand in this threshold between our old season and new beginnings, I want to remind you, God is for you. 
He is on your side. As Psalm 118 verse 6 says, The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? No matter what opposition you faced in the past, or what uncertainties lie ahead, the one who parted the Red Sea before Moses is parted your way too. He will not allow you to be overcome. Walk forward in boldness, not fear. The enemy would love to plant seeds of doubt and discontentment, but resist those lies with God's truth. Jesus assures us in John 16 verse 33, I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Beloved setbacks and hardships in life are inevitable, but dwelling on them robs us of energy to move forward. Learn from the past, but don't become paralyzed by it. Don't define your future based on what's behind you. Remember Lot's wife in Genesis 19 who longingly looked back at Sodom and turned into a pillar of salt. Keep looking ahead, where new mercies and open doors await. Maybe past pain has caused you to put up walls around your heart. You've started to doubt that your long-held dreams could ever come true. Friend, we serve the God who heals broken hearts and sets captives free. Don't allow fear to tether you to the past. As 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17 declares, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Pray for Jesus to uproot any seeds of unforgiveness and heal all emotional wounds. Receive His truth that washes lies away. He wants to restore your joy and passion for living once again. Just like the Apostle Peter, if your faith has been shaken, run back to Jesus. He is eager to reinstate you to the calling on your life, just as He did for Peter in John 21. Peter had denied Jesus three times. Yet Jesus did not condemn him. He lovingly restored Peter with the words, Feed my sheep. He has a purpose for you too. Return to Him without shame. His plans for you are for good. As Lamentations 3 verse 22 to 23 says, Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. What a powerful reminder that God's faithfulness is our firm foundation, even when everything else feels shaky. Cling to His promises for the future. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Friends, we serve an on-time God. Trust that He will do the new work He's promised in your life right on schedule. Your year of jubilee is here. Rejoice, be glad, and step boldly into all God has prepared for you in this next chapter. You are anointed, you are loved. God is renewing your strength. Open your arms wide, breakthrough and blessings are here. Precious Heavenly Father, thank you for walking with us through this prayer for new beginnings. We are filled with hope, joy, and anticipation for all you have in store in this next season. Thank you for your heart to redeem and restore. We ask you to seal the insights and encouragement imparted today. May each word take root deeply in our spirits and bear much fruit for your glory. Lord, we lift up every person praying with us today. Meet them right where they are on this journey of life. Pour your healing balm over fresh wounds and lingering scars. Sharpen their spiritual vision to see the new things you are declaring over their lives. Show them clearly the next steps on their path forward. Keep their footing firm as they follow your lead. We pray for every prodigal to return home to you. For those struggling with addiction or despair, may they touch the hem of your garment and be made whole. Implant new dreams within them, Lord. Release them from all shame and condemnation from the past. What amazing testimony will arise as you turn their mourning into dancing. Lord, renew marriages and families within the sound of this prayer. Restore broken communication and intimacy. Heal wayward children still loved by their parents. Let forgiveness and compassion win. Unite households together in you. Your miraculous repairs exceed any relationship too far gone. We lift up those facing unemployment or financial strain. Meet their practical needs powerfully. Open new doors of provision bigger than they could ask or imagine. Pour out creative ideas and divine connections. Promote them into greater realms of influence for your glory. 
Father, we thank you for the gift of new beginnings with you. Continue growing each of us into the image of Christ every day. Shape us into bolder witnesses for the gospel. Give us a heart to intercede and stand in the gap for our generation. Revive your church across the earth with purity, power, and passion. Come fill your bride with fresh fire once again. We seal this time of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your faithful presence, Lord. We love and honor you. Friends, please take a moment to leave a comment below. Share any words of encouragement or testimonies God has brought to mind through this prayer time. Let's continue seeking the Lord together in the days ahead. And be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. You won't want to miss our next uplifting prayer session. Please also share this video with anyone else who may be blessed. When we help strengthen and equip each other in Christ, His light shines even brighter in our world. Together, we can make an eternal difference through the power of prayer. It's been a joy to pray with you all today. I'm believing for great things as we walk into the new beginnings God has prepared for each of us. He is faithful and He will fulfill every promise. Be encouraged as you go. You have so much to look forward to. This is your season to thrive as you walk hand in hand with Jesus, our loving Savior and Redeemer. God bless you.